welcome back to my channel. We will be doing an upper body workout. So we are going to be strengthening and toning those arms using our bodies as a weight. You don't need any equipment for this workout. All you need to do is follow along. Just need some space and listen out for my voice telling you how to do each move. Give this video a big thumbs up. Click the link to subscribe for more videos. And without further ado, let's get into the workout. You ready? <laughs> all right let's get ready to smash this workout so we're going to start with a warm-up standing with your feet hip width apart make some big circles so reaching up and behind you feeling nice and tall as we ease into this workout really just feeling the length of your body taking some ni nice deep breaths taking a moment to congratulate yourself for not only watching this video but standing up to do it i'm so proud of you that's awesome and arms coming the other way behind up and in front of you engaging the core feeling that nice big range of movement in the shoulders with good posture keeping good posture And we're gonna come over into some dynamic stretches. So we're just gonna lift one arm up and over the head, coming down over the opposite side, and then back up. So keeping it almost moving through that movement, moving through the coronal plane as we come back up and over onto the other side. So one arm going above the head, the other arm is reaching down towards the calf. As you feel the stretch, um, but we're not overly focusing on the stretching so much as just feeling that that um, that kind of range of movement throughout the shoulder joint there. All right, and then we're going to jog on the spot, bring in the arms up and over in some big circles again. Now we're just getting the heart rate up, getting a little bit breathless, feeling that blood pumping throughout the body, and arms the other way, a little bit quicker than the original arm circles that we did making sure that we're nice and warm and loose, ready to do this upper body workout. Cool, and then we're just gonna stretch the triceps. So pulling the elbow back just behind the head, feeling that stretch on one arm and then on the other arm as we prepare to do the first move, which will be these walkouts as you can see. So we're gonna be doing 35 seconds of those to begin ready and go so i want you to walk out in front of you so you're in the plank position and then walk back so we're transferring the weight of the body from the feet to the arms you'll feel a little bit of a stretch a nice stretch as you walk the arms back towards the feet if you are not too flexible that's okay you can bend the knees a little bit and um, but what we're focusing on is keeping good posture and really using the arms to support the weight of the body if you can notice i'm actually walking out further than a plank position so walk my hands out really far which is just really challenging my core strength as well and last one and then relax well done and then we're gonna come over into some plank twists so again we're using our body weight um, in a really functional way uh, to increase the strength in our arms really tone and strengthen the upper body so take a moment to relax take a breath Coming down onto the side, ready and go. So side plank position to start. So in the side plank position, you'll have a straight line from your ankle to your knee, to your hip, to your shoulder, the weight of the body being carried through that one arm. Um, and then we're gonna twist over, opening the chest up nice and wide, and then bringing the arm back down into front plank position. Now don't worry too much about your legs in this movement so you will find that you put one leg in front of the other and just allow them to move and relax so you're just allowing the legs to kind of follow the movement of the upper body um, as you go from front plank to side plank and really challenging the strength of that one arm 
Um, so take a rest as you're resting. We're gonna come and do the same thing on the other side. Gotta make both sides even. Um, I love isolating uh, movements onto each side. Ready and go. Cause then you can really notice any imbalances that you might have. So you might find that this is actually easier on one side than the other, which is okay. Um, we're fixing that as we do it. So controlling the core, controlling the movement as you roll back and open up that chest as you're stretching the arm up and behind, really feeling the challenge of balancing the body weight in that one arm, but controlling the movement. We're not rushing this, okay? Doing really well. And getting a nice uh, ab workout here as well. And relax. Well done. Awesome, so take a few seconds rest. The next uh, movement that we'll be doing will be some press-ups. Um, so as you can see, I'm doing full body press-ups here, but feel free to come down onto your knees. So instead of your feet being the bit that you pivot on on the floor, you would be bending at the knee and crossing your feet over. And that just reduces the amount of weight of, of body weight that you're pushing up. Ready and go. So in a plank position, core nice and tight. Careful not to let your bottom come up too high or uh, sink down too low. We're just gonna push our body weight up and down. So, well, pushing it up really and then lowering it back down. Um, so try and get your face as close to the ground as you can. So just, you know, giving, having a quick whiff of the carpet. Hopefully you've done your hoovering. Um, and back up, really realizing just how much our bodies weigh. This is why I love a home workout, you guys. Never underestimate <laughs> the weight of a body. And relax, well done. That was challenging, that was good though, well done. Awesome, so the next move that we're gonna do will be some shoulder taps. So again, in the plank position, tapping each shoulder. I also love this workout, you guys, because um, there's a lot of core stabilization involved in this, and that is a really key function of the abdominal muscles. So um, you can even call this upper body and core if you wanted to. Uh, but yeah, ready and go. So starting in plank position, uh, you're gonna tap each shoulder, alternating. And what I want you to try and do is to not move too much try not to shuffle too much so you'll really have to use your core for this um, and be nice and controlled in the movement but you don't want to be rocking from side to side like a ship at sea in tormented waves you want to be controlling this movement core nice and tight i know it's tough i know it's difficult you can come down onto your knees if you need to um but just keep tapping away one v the other and relax well done so we're gonna have one minute rest um, my timer actually broke a little bit there, soz. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to have one minute rest. So feel free to grab a drink, um, do some stretches, uh, leave me a comment letting me know how you're finding this. Are you able to lift your arms in order to type me a comment? I hope so. <laughs> if so, let me know how you're finding this workout, whether it's challenging, too easy, just right. Um, and don't forget to give this video a little cheeky thumbs up subscribe uh, while you're there and um, so yeah what I love to do is just kind of keep it moving uh, during rest breaks I'll often just stretch it out as well so I'm just stretching out the upper body there wherever you feel needs it um, and so when you're ready or when we're ready rather we're gonna go back in with the walkouts Awesome, ready and go. So walking out in front of you, reaching out as far as you can, small steps with the hands as you transfer the weight from the legs to the upper body. Notice I'm walking out as far as I can, so I'm really actually going a bit further than having my hands under my shoulders and just feeling, feeling that in the core and then walking it back. Nice stretch in the hamstrings and the calves as we come back towards us, but keeping it moving and relax. Take a rest and then we're gonna come back down onto the plank twist.
ready coming down onto the floor and go so going into a front plank and then coming over onto the one arm as you stretch up controlling that movement when you're in that side plank position don't let the hips drop down so keeping that straight line from the shoulder to hip to knee to ankle feeling that weight of the body when you come onto the one arm but controlling the movement using the obliques as well and rest and we're going to do the same thing on the other side You're doing really well, guys. Well done. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of us. <laughs> all right, coming down onto the floor. Ready and go. Open up that chest nice and big. Controlling the movement. Don't fall back into that front plank. Try and control the movement. Using the arms to support the weight of the body and just allowing the legs to kind of follow so one leg in front of the other when you're coming into that side plank position and rest amazing then we're going to come back to the press ups this is going to be challenging it's going to be tough but you can totally do it Remember that you can do the modified version, um, so bending at the knees. Um, if bending at the knees and doing press-ups is still difficult, you can just hold that position as well. Ready and go. So lowering down the weight of the body, keeping a nice tight core. Try not to let the bum raise too high. Pushing yourself back up, really feeling the weight of your body, but you're strong, keep going, keep going, keep pushing. You can do this. Just a few more. And relax. Well done, you did it. Awesome. Then we're going back in with the shoulder tap. Can you feel it? Do your arms feel like jelly? Feel free to shake it off. I always find arm workouts, like upper body workouts, so tough because like, if it's a leg workout, I don't know, I just feel like I use my arms to, I don't know, maybe like massage my leg or, or relax. But when it's your arms that are struggling, that's, that's tough. Who's gonna, who's gonna help them? Who's gonna help them? Ready and go. So tapping the shoulders try not to get too much sway i know you'll have a little bit of sway but not too much core nice and tight as you alternate the body weight from one shoulder from one arm to the other tapping as we go you're nearly there this is the last move of the workout you've done so well just keep going eight more seconds doing really well keep tapping and rest well done you did it you've completed this upper body workout i am so proud of you well done i hope you're nice and sweaty and feeling it <laughs> um yeah you've done awesome you guys i will see you in my next video bye <laughs>